Hey guys, Samsung's next big unpacked event is going to be packed aside for the next generation Galaxy Z Fold and Z Flip smartphones and perhaps even the S21 FE too. The company is also planning on releasing not one but two new smartwatch models, each in two sizes. We are talking about Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch Active 4. Both of these are to run Wear OS by Google in a rare but a big change of strategy for the core and company which in the past few years has realized on the in-house develop Tizen OS for its wearables. Software and sensor aside, the upcoming Galaxy smartwatches will reportedly have different dimensions compared to the ongoing Galaxy Watch 3 and Galaxy Watch Active 2. The problem with Tizen is its lack of third-party apps, which seems to be what prompted Samsung to work with Google again. Hopefully, the cooperation will somehow yield better battery life than Wear OS smartwatches are usually known for. The Galaxy Watch 4 will come in 42mm and 46mm size as we know, while the Watch Active 4 will be offered in 40mm and 42mm models. The former will have a traditional watch design, while the latter will have a casual and simple design. Neither the Galaxy Watch 4 or the Galaxy Watch Active 4 will be equipped with a sensor capable of reading the user's glucose level, claims the latest report. This was the one of the more interesting rumored specification pretending to the upcoming smartwatches series, as a non-intrusive method of reading blood glucose level would be a game changer for the prospective buyers who might be suffering from diabetes. The report claims that the Samsung will source batteries for the Galaxy Watch 4 from Chinese Amperex Technology Limited. Both ATL and Samsung's SDI will be supplying batteries for the new wearable devices. Samsung had stopped sourcing batteries from the ATL previously due to the Galaxy Note 7's battery fire issue. ATL has only recently been brought back into Samsung's supply chain. Its batteries are used in the Galaxy S21 series. ATL is now reportedly mass producing small polymer 250mAh batteries for the Galaxy Watch 4's 41mm model. The 45mm model will feature Samsung HDI's 350mAh battery. Samsung's decision to use batteries from ATL might be a move to reduce cost. The company has recently been relying more on Chinese components in order to improve margin in its devices. It's even sourcing OLED panels from China now. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section. For that said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.